Wow, it's for two days we have Paris Fa Art Basel and they have the audacity to be charging an arm and a leg to go to this thing. Oh, it's going to be at the Grand Palais and on the Chant Chambre de Mar. Chambre de Mar. 154 leading galleries from 33 countries and territories will showcase their artists. Oh, wow. I had no idea. How can I get exhibited at Par Paris Art Basel? <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. I am a funny girl. They just call me funny girl. The full ticket is 40 euros. And... Reduced ticket is 27 euros. Evening ticket is 30 euros. Friday from 7 to 9. Saturday 6 to 8 is 30 euros. Wow. I can't go. I can't. I can't spend. I can't. Oh, that's that's too bad, isn't it? I can't spend that kind of money. You know? So, now what? <laughs> well, just you wait and see. Okay, so let's put this into the pot. <laughs> that in here then we're going to put a lot of maybe all of this honey because typically I should rather be putting sugar but I don't have sugar because I stopped buying sugar I haven't bought sugar in about two months I'm trying to really cut I'm trying to cut I'm trying to cut it's, it's difficult I, I get my sweets, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, um, I, I get my sweets in other ways. I use, you know, dates, like sweet dates. And sometimes I, I really fall off the wagon and I, I go into the supermarket and buy some tartlets, you know, so, but I try, I don't do it every day, you know, before I was having the tartlets every day and then the sugared coffee and, you know, it's considerably less sugar, but I'm not where I want to be yet, but still. So I bought this small honey, and this is going to have to, and I bought it specifically for this project. So, yeah. Okay, now let's pour in this milk. I think I don't have enough liquid for what I want to make because typically I should really be putting in a can of like milk like coconut milk or whatever but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour water because maybe I'll have a less I don't know if the water will compromise this it probably will because um Really, because I'm sure that there are elements in the milk that are necessary for this to work. And so when I replace that with water, obviously that's a problem. But I don't have any milk left. Not even left. I don't have milk. I'm, I'm, I'm lact lactose intolerant, so I avoid milk. I did have some cream the other day. But that's, <clears throat> that's all gone. So I'm just going to put water in the can, turn this into like a milk, and pour it in there. You have to improvise. So, yeah. So just make this into a milk and pour it in. So what am I doing? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what have we got in here so far? We have got the ginger. 
we've got lemon juice we've got honey we've got this thing here fleur d'orange okay it's like an essence really of orange essence we have grated ginger we have the shredded coconut we have um we're going to put um some cinnamon and yeah so what am i making i'll tell you in a bit so some recipes call for butter i don't have it so i'm just once again going to use good old olive oil <laughs> olive oil okay so just because i don't have the milk and i, I feel like it's this is just not gonna work it's just not gonna work it's, it's not gonna work i know this already and being the person I am, of course, I'm going to look to see what else can I do. I have this um, Riole, like a rice milk. And this was for my granola, but I'm going to put it in my concoction. So there you go. So, okay. So I'm basically just stirring and stirring. And you have to keep stirring for a while. till it boils. And it rises and falls you stir and you stir it like there's no tomorrow you know what i mean so meanwhile <laughs> i i pulled out some of my old works of art which all of which need to be framed i mean i don't know what's going to happen to these things because you know it's not like i can you know bien sûr je pense que vous êtes un garçon français très sexy Mais je ne veux pas agir sur cette émotion. <laughs> je ne veux pas gâcher une chose parfaitement belle. Je ne veux pas en faire de la boue et détruire à la fois un beau, un beau béguin innocent. <laughs> okay, that was inspired by a specific guy. Like, I don't know five years ago <laughs> so i need to get it framed right i'm just looking at these while i work on my little concoction over there because i um i don't know i just thought i'd look at these because they're just sitting there for years and years and years i don't see them anymore i don't remember what i have i don't even know where i can put this and i need to get some of these things framed and maybe even sold you know like for are they all turned upside down is that what's going on here Okay, so this one, this is nice, actually. I should get this framed. I should get this framed and sell it for like, what is that? That's like an actual piece of fabric. <laughs> I had it like using this horrible and primitive tape on it. Oh my gosh. But this, I mean, and these are, wow, this is like. Oh, wow. I've forgotten all about this. Um, yeah, so this, I don't know how much I would sell it for, but it would have to be framed nicely first, you know? It has to be framed nicely first. All right, let me go turn the, um, the concoction for a minute. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it was a, supposed to be some kind of a truck. They're wheels. Why would I have painted this it's like a charcoal i'm not even sure it's very sort of abstract isn't it it's very abstract and um it's interesting this is just a pure straight abstract green you know if you have like a nice green room with the right frame i think this would be more of a wood frame a wood frame would look really nice on this. Imagine something like that, right? It'd be gorgeous, you know? This is another abstract piece. Yeah, it makes me think of space. What was I thinking of when I painted this? Nothing in particular. <laughs> Nothing in particular, just, just because. This, what is that sound? This sound is another abstract. Um, it must have been from a, a 
flyer I saw in the Latin Quarter a few years ago mixed with something else, you know, it's just like an abstract. This is also, this is a street scene. Oh, I know exactly where this is. Okay, this is not too far from where I live. And these are all the garbage pails. And, um, in the house. And I think they've torn down a one, maybe the one to the, the left. And they're putting up a high-rise building. Yeah. This is a peacock. <laughs> it's a peacock. My mother says I'm I'm a peacock. Like, you know, I mean I can be very like plain Jane and then suddenly I just pull a move. <laughs> She's like, What do you where where did you come from? You know? She's like, You're a peacock. By the way, the thing that I'm I'm cooking and stirring, I'm not sure if it's going to work out. So I'm not sure if you're going to see to see that. But um, yeah, this is um, another abstract. Yeah, another abstract. So you, yeah, I'm more of an abstract artist, aren't I? <laughs> but I do think this was inspired by. Um, a window grill, you know, I was looking through the window and yeah, it was a book, sh a bookshop, I think in Paris near the key, not key d'Orsay, mais key, uh, key, near key d'Orsay, key Voltaire, near key Voltaire, I think. I know I gave this a name. I can't remember what. Yeah, and this one is a similar, similar. This is similar to a few others that I painted in the same style. Um, yeah, just sort of mixing different ideas, and yeah, this one is you know some door or hallway somewhere. I don't remember where, but. <sighs> Yeah. Is it unfinished? It is. Okay. This is a nice violet and blue abstract. This is a green abstract. <laughs> leaves. All kinds of different leaves. Abstract. This is a beautiful winter scene. The stone. Mm. Yeah. Where was it? Um. Hmm. Jeez, I don't remember. I don't remember. This is another winter scene. <laughs> winter gray. In Paris. <laughs> and this is another winter scene. It hardly ever snows in Paris, but, you know, every now and then it does a little something, something, you know. So you have to get a nice frame for it. It's nice with a brown frame, I think. So, yeah, my, my fudge is, is not thickening, so I don't think I'll be able to show it to you. But I'm stirring in between my little exhibition over here. I didn't remember this one. I was quite pleasantly surprised by this one. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what whether the brown frame works on this one, but you know the frame is half the half the thing, you know. <laughs> and behold. <laughs> behold. This is an abstract. I'm not even sure which way you would put it, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I love fish, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> uh, 
avoid. <laughs> I can't even say that. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh my God. <sighs> 2018 to 2096. Where will I? Where will I have never been to? What? No. 2018 to 2096. Where will you be? I have never been to Lax. Ever heard of the keto diet? Demonic eggs. <laughs> Why do I crack myself up to the the extent that I do? Do you know that I, I think I'm the funniest person in my life is me? Do you go to church, synagogue, or musk? I never shop at H&M or Zara because... Oh my God, what did I say here? Lord, have mercy. Because why, Marion? Do you go to church, synagogue, or musk? I never shop at H&M or Zara because this is a gift card. By the way, what is YouTube? <laughs> oh my God. Three million giggle. Elon Musk is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, Marion. 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 Marion, you need help. Honestly. Uh, what is this? <laughs> so what would be the solution in this situation? Because the heat is not there. Maybe patience, Marion? Maybe for a change, you can exercise some patience and maybe it will start to bubble on its own and then it will rise and then it will work. I mean, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe, because what are you going to do? I mean, throw this all out? Well, it is delicious as is. I could just eat it. No, Marion. No. And this was... I had this uh, displayed until recently, until I got the um, the uh, the wallpaper. I I had this displayed without it, without a, without a frame, obviously. Um, yeah, and um, and I actually like it. Yeah. So, okay, so those are my paintings for now. And so I'm, I just thought I would go through them just to refresh my memory of what I have. And as it turns out, I have a few blank canvases. So if I really want to be crazy, I could do some more painting if I want, you know. But anyway, if you are interested in buying any of these paintings that I just showed and you want to spend upwards of like 5,000 euros for each painting, do contact me, go into my About Us on my YouTube channel and and contact me, you know. Or maybe I can do an exhibition or something. I mean, I know, I know, I know I have delusions of grandeur. But if I don't have my own delusions of grandeur, who will have my delusions of grandeur for me? Know what I mean? Are. It's not what I think, obviously. I mean, do you think these are not? Oh, I know. It's for Halloween. I mean, these are not bullets, right? Are these bullets? I think it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Halloween is in a few days, right? Something like that. Okay, well, yeah. So this is the 14th hour in Dismart. It holds a special place in my heart. I've always stayed in the 14th hour in Dismart, except for my most recent department. But for all my trips to Paris, it's always been the 14th hour in Dismart. And Alasia, Line 4, all that, you know? <laughs> I love you. Oh my God. Ah, okay, so this is a church. I actually went to mass here a couple of times, but you know, I guess in the end, in the end, I'm just no longer religious, you know? This is jaywalking. 
um, I'm no longer religious and uh, and it's difficult to I mean I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. okay let's not even bother to say but the 14th and small this was my home for this last time the first few months few years few years this last time and uh, and before that when my aunt lived here with her English husband um, it was also in the 14th so and you know it's just held itself in my life you know so I come here all the time I do my grocery shopping in the 14th and there's still a little bit of a, a, an attachment if you will the church is definitely not gothic it's definitely not gothic there are no gothic features on the exterior and all of the windows are very classical romanesque um, windows so I would say the exterior is classic but it could be some kind of modern classic type architect you know a modern style with classical elements I don't know but I can tell you for sure and I'll bet my life on it this is not a gothic church so there you go okay now what do we want in the 14th well um, Poulet. Pomme de terre. Oh my god. I'm not doing meat. I'm not doing meat. Chicken meat. None of that stuff. Wow. These are not cheap. $29.95 per kilo. It's a nice fish market though if you like fish, right? If you like fish, this is where you get your fish in the 14. And I don't know that there's a, an equivalent of it um, near where I live. So if I do want to have like, like a major seafood fair, I would still have to come up here to the 14 to do it. Mm. I love the smell of fish. <laughs> what does that say about me? I just, I love it. Oh my God. It makes me think of the ocean, you know? And, uh, oh, that's so cool. I love this store. Um, it is, uh, I would say 70% of my, my kitchen comes, my kitchen where, you know, like my cups, my sauces, things like that comes from this store. And um, I mean, they're real porcelain from Limoges. And, and usually they come from one of these boxes because this is where they have the least expensive. <laughs> so I always go through the boxes first before I go in. Like these are really cute. Oh my gosh. I don't need any more small tea, teacups though because I don't have space for it. First, oh these are pretty. Oh those are so pretty but I don't need them. I really don't need them. I have enough. Then over here you have got um, 
other things that are very pretty but I don't need also I need my mask cover my face Why sure, madame? Look at this. The character. Like, you can you see the character? The conversational piece that these are? Gorgeous. Can you see the beauty of this? The simplicity and the beauty of it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, okay, now. Four euros. Whatever you do, don't break a mirror. This is interesting, right? And if push comes to shove, Push cannot come to shop. You understand me? You're not getting anything. The compound is a seven day mile. You don't need anything. You have no space for it. Just stop. Right. Okay. Oh my god. I have to have this. And I don't have to buy two. I could just buy one, right? Erin, please stop. Oh, I'm getting that. Oh, I'm getting that. Erin, stop. Because this, the plate is separate. I will buy you money. But the plate, the plate is separate. Don't break it. But how cute is that? 52 euros. I mean, don't even think about it, Erin. Well, I mean, even if I did think about it. Look at that. Pretty. Oh my gosh. I prefer the blue. 
I mean, yeah, the blue to the green. Green doesn't really speak to me in quite the same way as the blue. Okay, so yeah, this is, it's like being in a museum, in a way, a porcelain museum. <laughs> Maybe I'll call it a visit to a porcelain museum. I had no idea this bus came all the way over here. That's that's good to know. That's good information. In fact, I think I'm going to take that bus for a joy ride soon because I need to see where it goes from beginning to end. You know what I mean? I do that sometimes. I, I take a bus just to learn the route of the bus. Is that strange? <laughs> Am I weird? This is supposed to be the catacombs um, this building if I'm not mistaken this building here um, it's one of the tourist attractions I don't want to call is it a monument? I don't know if it's a monument but it's kind of like a monument slash museum slash tourist attraction at Donfair Rouchereau and um, it's just one of the places I'm not I've never been interested in visiting, um, but it's a very, very popular tourist attraction in the 14th. And um, yeah, I mean, people go down on, on the ground and they look at all these skeletons of Parisians in the old days, the days gone by, they, they cre created um, they created a a whole exhibit with just you know skull heads and stuff, and people love it and they pay big bucks to see it as well. But I have no interest in it. Um, yeah, this is the catacombs. I don't know how much, but sold out today. Oh wow! Yeah, it's usually sold out. I mean, people. I'm surprised that there, there's no line because <coughs> people uh, people queue for, for for like blocks and blocks to go here, and I'm just like, no, thank you all very much. All right. So there is no. There's no There was a little. There used to be a little movie theater somewhere between here and that ourselves <laughs> that shows um, 
you know, little French films. I just wanted to see if it's still there and see what is on for today. The Chaplin d'Enfer. That's the name of the cinema. And let's see what's on for today. All right, so today I think it's Friday, right? Uh, yeah, I can't. The only thing possible would be La Petite. La Petite. Um, La Petite. Alright, two options. I can call it on my morning walk <laughs> or I can prolong it a little bit and go down this road here. What is this road? This is Boulevard Arago? Rue Arago? Something like that? Might be. Um, I want to, but they have predicted a major storm, like a rainstorm, and so this might really be a bad idea, you know, but that said, I'm sure there's a metro somewhere that I can jump in, Marion, honestly, Marion, why don't you return home, honestly, another thing I could do is go down this road and um, I could find uh I could go down this road here and see if the Ikea bus is running and go to Ikea Marion, Marion but I could, I have time evidently and I see a bus down there it could be the Ikea bus why would you go to Ikea today? You don't have time for this, Mary. You don't have time for this. You understand? You have two students this afternoon. Okay? Yes, but I mean, why are you going down Boulevard Arago? There's nothing down Boulevard Arago. Not even a metro for miles, Marion. All right, but... There's no bot.
<laughs> he looked like George Clooney, so. <laughs> That must have happened last night because it wasn't like that yesterday. Oh, the 59 comes out. Oh, I'm jumping on that on the way back home. That's for sure. I can bet you money, girl. Okay, so this is going to be a video that's way too long, isn't it? I should probably wrap it up here. I don't know if it's a, a prison that still operates as a prison, but it certainly was a prison at some point. <laughs> there just is no end to it. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no end. There's no end to Paris. <laughs> There's no end. Oh my god.
<laughs> oh my god okay so this has been an odyssey it's been an odyssey okay so made it put it in the in the, the bowl to cool you know came back after all my art my exhibits my porcelain whatever to just a total fiasco it was a total fiasco i mean it was cool yeah but was it like solid maybe not okay so went back out to the supermarket bought a whole bunch of sugar this sugar here specifically and um poured half of it maybe three quarters into it and so that's why it's all white around the edges <laughs> and let's just see what develops let's see what develops 